page 9. It seems people are better off when they do positive things, that where the government is not in collusion with the rich and powerful. Government by the rich or in collusion with the rich is bound to go wrong sooner or later. This is because it begins to create a rigidifying hierarchy with the unempowered to become progressively enslaved or poorer. There are things in life that are far more vital or less deadly than knuckling under to selfish connected people. Right now just about all energy is sold and taxed, and the rich can't squander all they want. If you make your own energy the energy economy can change dramatically. This means your energy will be free, or from your own effort, and obscene profits by the market meddlers will become a thing of the past. You can produce what you use, or share your excess. If methane production become patented then the other natural processes will become patentable too. Methane has been around far longer than life, as we know it, and long before. We will likely find methane in the far reaches of the universe as time passes. Do we really want to pant in production processes for something so basic to life? If we do, then it really is time to start executing that kind of greed-based organization. If they want to own it they can use their bodies to make it. It hurts, and it doesn't last long but it will certainly solve the problem of ownership. Not being a methane production expert, it seems like the least convoluted process that there is. Essentially what is done is to put some organic material in an airtight system and the appropriate bacteria will multiply and produce methane as a waste gas. This is why methane can be captured in a landfill. Methane can be captured with a tarpaulin, put into the pipeline, and then burned in homes as heating gas. There might be specially used bacteria. There is a specially adapted kind of bacteria used by termites that digest trees or wood and turn it into methane. A given amount of biogas will be produced from a certain amount of biomass. Probably an enclosed biomass growing operation that has maximized ability to produce biomass would be an answer. You could likely pump in CO2 from your generating operation into sun exposed hydroponics tile enclosure that can contain a CO2 fed environment. The green plant reuse would be the fastest growing plant. That could be easily harvested and separated from its growing environment. Probably the best green plant would be some form of algae. I would guess that whatever is left over from the digesting operation would become part of the perfect growing medium for the next crop or growing cycle. There are certain plants that grow in the soil such as kudzu that produce a large amount of biomass but they tend to get away and take over. Probably algae would not do that since it needs a watery environment to thrive. I saw an enclosed algae farm on YouTube. It was actually hanging from a scaffold of some kind and encased in a controlled flow device made from what appeared to be plastic sheeting that was glued together in a flow strategic fashion. The fellow was using the extracted algae to make ethanol fuel, ETO, which can additionally be useful for fuel, intoxicant, or antifreeze. Ethanol is a very useful fuel, or intoxicant, or antifreeze, in as much it has certain physical properties, but it does not compare to methane for utility and transportability. Ethanol is used in boat stoves because it can be extinguished with water or dissolves completely in water. Methane takes more than a simple bottle to store, but is is a more calorie-dense fuel by nearly 2 to 1.